I'm back. Hello. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're good. <laughs> are we ready to uh, continue this epilogue? This the part one of the uh, epilogue. Eight years, eight years after the um, after the events. Eight years later, but look, we're slowly, slowly becoming a cow, a cowboy once again. Uh, when we last left off, of course, I was uh, assaulted by a um, by a bear, and we lost that horse that we managed to. Uh... But wait, who's this? Tennessee Walker. Oh, look, the game gave me a free horse. It felt so bad for me. Hey, boy. It felt so bad for me. It gave me a free Tennessee Walker. We'll take it. Not bad. We had Black Beauty, but it ran away right after the uh, bear assault. So we'll settle for this one. We'll pick up our saddle. We'll saddle it up. Because unfortunately, Rachel died. <laughs> Rachel fell off a cliff accidentally. It was just over here, close to where the saddle was left. Okay, good recovery. I think that's a, a decent recovery, actually. That's not bad. Let's pick up, let's pick up this saddle. We'll saddle up Rachel, too. Can I just adjust this boy? There you go, Rachel, too. A boy. Tell me your best dad joke. I don't have, boy. I don't have any good ones, unfortunately. I don't know any good dad jokes, for Christ's sake. That ain't me. I'm not the type of person that does a dad joke. Okay, let's go talk to Sadie Adler and Valentine, shall we? See what this is all about. Sadie Adler. There's a name we haven't heard in a while. Am I right? Maybe she's all old and gray now. It's been eight years. She was kind of old even like eight years ago. Eight years will change you big time. So she's just been like milling around out here this whole time. Do you think she misses Arthur? She probably does, right? She loved him. It was a forbidden love. Okay, let's try out this new horse and see if it's any good at navigating. Oh my god. Okay, let's not go down this waterfall. We've lost enough horses, I think. We've lost more than enough horses. We don't need to lose anymore. Maybe we just follow the train tracks up here instead. Maybe that's the better play. Go through this. Easy now. That writing on the wall. Whoa now. I seek and I find. What the hell? Do we have a diary that we can take note of these things in, or what? There, boy. Nope. Monthly sub for you. Thank you for your content here and on YouTube. Thanks so much, uh, VV Bazooka VV. I appreciate that. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Welcome. Anyway, I'm a bit late again because I was playing Dota. I was on a ten, a ten win streak with Bounty Hunter. I won ten games in a row using what some people think is not the best build, but you know what? It did the work. It got me 10 wins in a row. And then we just played one last game with Flax and Co. And we lost. But I didn't use my normal Bounty Hunter build. And maybe that's why we lost. Maybe I could have gotten in there and I could have, you know, I could have gotten some more kills or something. I think we just got outplayed though. They had a Juggernaut that got really fat. And then we lost, sadly. It's the way it goes sometimes, you know. Sometimes, sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. It's just the way of the road. It's the way she goes. It's the way she fucking goes, you know? Fat like our moms. Yeah, that's exactly how fat that juggernaut got. Just disgusting. Just enormous. Right, so we go to see Sadie Adler, who has a job for us, apparently. And maybe we can, we can build up enough capital to buy Hogsworth's ranch or whatever it's called breach beach beachwood ranch we already got what's his face willing to help us too but what are valentine oh look the house is complete eight years later there's a new building in town 
God, it took them a while. You know what? It looks nice, though. Fits in perfect with the rest of the town. How the hell are Fucking you? great. Shit. This place has not really changed in eight years. Surprising, you know? I think that, like, they'd have, like, a paved road by You're now or something. Great, but Dad. They don't. Hey, Sips. How are you? Emil, help. I'm oh, great. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. Oh, my I'm God. Look myself, at Sadie Adler now. Oh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> hey, Bob, thanks for no the donation, man. I appreciate right it. Now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You. What you, the you hell, out of here. Sadie Adler? John Marston. She's not old. It is good she to looks see the goddamn you. same. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. Fucking okay, John. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope. Oh, Mr. yeah. Blackwater. Beecher's Hope. I'm Kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other oh, stuff. Yeah. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. I mean, I need the money, though. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for Strawberry. Him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Oh, I see white collar crime. God damn, Sadie. Come on. We got a bit wrong of a ride. With your horse. I know. Sadie's horse looks diseased. Yep. Not like uh, Rachel you know, too here. He does you not said look you diseased. had something to discuss. I didn't not, think not a single thing diseased about alcohol. Rachel too here, There's but Sadie's else. horse on the other hand. What? Micah. Looks like Micah? it's got a case of blight so. or something. I heard of someone sounded like him. It's a blighted horse. About a year back? Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I don't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. The Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. Why did we? Why did John Marston go to the Yukon? Why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. It's all right, guys. It's just a home invasion in the background. <laughs> it's just a, just my garage is being invaded. Did you hear all that noise? All that rustling? Sorry about that. Gold rush. Oh, he went on a he went for a gold rush in the Yukon. I get it. I get it. So Sadie Adler's become a bounty hunter now. It's crazy. And I miss Arthur. He was really good, wasn't he? What's it we got be? 20 bucks. All right, see what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, 45. All right. Okay. You hit up that way. Howdy, stranger. You seen a bald, 45-year-old banker? Ask around about Nathan Kirk in town. Howdy, partner. You seen it? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any a of the A resort bastards. town? Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we okay, say. Okay, thanks. Season. So it's become a resort town now out here. 
Hello. How you doing? Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Welcome Center? Okay, thank you. What? There's a Welcome Center here now? They've turned, they've turned the fair town of Strawberry into some sort of clown fiesta. Welcome. There oh, here, are. this is him, isn't it? He's staying in the welcome center. What? You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. <laughs> His name's Nathan Kirk. <laughs> Mr. Kirk. But he's so charming. That's how he stole all the money. He's staying here? With his charms. He's, uh, up in room three. Room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. God, this guy just does not care. He's seen it all the... Wow. That looks like the bad boy that attacked me out there. Hey, Mr. You'll never believe this, but one of those bad boys attacked me out there. I lost a horse. Uh, I guess you don't really care. All right, fine. Room number three, you said, right? Okay. Up I go. Oh, man, look at these stairs. They're made out of out of rough logs. I like that. Room number two. Room number one. Oh. But wait. Oh, yeah. Elsie Rose. Fuck yeah, a free Elsie Rose. Just sitting there. Seven to Mr. twelve, Kirk. baby. Mr. Kirk, you in there? He's gone out the window. He's trying to fucking get out the window. Hey. That's Nathan Kirk. What the hell's going on? Sadie, what are you doing? Eating poop off the ground? Yeah, well, you're not fucking going very fast. Jeez. All right, I see him, Sadie Adler. He went right. Yeah, I saw him. Don't worry. I've got a mini map. I don't know if you noticed this. This New Yorker. This New Yorker doesn't even know how to ride a horse. He doesn't know how to ride a horse right now. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Actually, he's pretty good at riding a horse for a New Yorker. Mr. Kirk, you'll do yourself an injury. Look how fast the horse is going, too. Oh, shit. Well, we're gonna injure him good. You ain't cut out for this, Kirk! We got it, That's a lie! That's a lie. That's a goddamn lie! You're back! Oh, yeah. We're monsters! Oh. monsters! Monsters? What are you talking yeah. about, Captain yeah. Kirk? <laughs> you shot me. Look out! Hey, You're throwing a whole bunch of diversions at us, Sadie. Why are you running then? Then come on and talk to us. Not in this country, you're not. You're gonna be judged by a jury of your biased peers. Got it. What you got there? It looks like I got me an, a Nathan Kirk. Get off me! He's loose what again. The fuck. It's your fault, Sadie. Goddamn horse is in the way. Got you. All right, I got him this time. Don't worry. Let's hog tie this guy's ass. How are you doing? I don't deserve this treatment. Hey, thanks for replying to me, you filthy prostitute. Hey. Enjoy your epilogue, okay. all right? Okay, thanks. thanks for that, Mr. Bye. Hey, thanks very much, um, Dumpus. I appreciate I'm an it. Let's loot him man. first. My, it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife Gold plate is, is a desperate woman. Give that to Lancelot. Are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. She broke you. I did bad, but I'm I not broke a horse one bad. time. There and then I got difference. attacked by a bear and it ran away. 
True story. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. Oh, I see, I see. Bad, the whole so game is shifting down to Blackwater I'll come now. Come find you. And Sadie Adler. Whoa. What was with this delay? Gainful employment. That was pretty fun, actually. It's nice to fucking be back out on the range, isn't it? Ready, boy? Not doing farming and stuff for once. We've done, we've done a lot of farming. Alright, so next up, we have to go down to... Finally, down to Blackwater. To see Ansel Atherton. Uh, he's given us... A, Mrs., Mr. Gettys has given us a credit reference to use at the bank in Blackwater. Seems good. We're no longer wanted dead or alive down there, so we can actually go down there and explore the area. This is going to be great. A whole new area. Don't you dare enter this area before the epilogue. A brand new Blackwater to see. No one to tell you no. And get the law after you. Because we're no longer wanted dead or alive down there. Do you like how specific my um, my singing is when it comes to when it comes to making up songs about Red Dead Redemption 2? Very specific to my current circumstance, isn't it? No. I'm not wanted there yet. Now that's true actually. We still got time to become wanted there, but you're right. We're not wanted yet. So let's try to keep the peace down there. So if I'd played this game a bit more honorably, I would have gotten a different... I watched a couple of the endings. I watched two of the endings. I watched the ending where um, you are... The, the ending that I got, I watched that one again for some reason. And I watched the one where um, if you go to get the money instead. Uh, and instead of, um, instead of Micah shooting you, he uh, just stabs you instead. I don't want to spoil it for you in case you want to see them or whatever, but that's what happens. But then there's two more endings that I haven't watched yet, but I think they they might be to do with the epilogue more so than the uh, more so than the Arthur Morgan stuff, or maybe not. I don't know. Like, I didn't want to spoil anything because I just saw like I, I saw John Marston and I was like, oh shit, I don't want to see this actually, so I stopped watching it. So I don't really know what happens at the end. But like I said, wow, look at this. Look down here, it's so nice. Look, it's all nice and wide open. We'll be able to kill snakes and shit down here, no problem. Carbine repeater. Oh, I got the Springfield, the bolt action, the varmint, the car. Hey, shit, I got all my shit back. I got the Springfield. dare get back up. There's no way this deer just got back up after that shot. He's losing it a bit. He's losing it a little bit. He's having trouble. He's losing blood. He's a bit slower. He's gone down to a one star. God, that's annoying. Maybe this is how we can make enough money to buy this new ranch. Out here, in the desert, doing some hunting. Oh, I like it down here a lot. This is really nice. Look at this. I love the terrain and stuff. It's nice. And the first deer we saw was a true butte. It was a three-star deer. So what is there? So hang on, do we buy the ranch and then can we decorate the ranch with trophies of stuff that we get? Let's go find out about this loan. Maybe there is some stuff like this. Maybe it becomes just like Stardew Valley in the West, more so than it already. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Hold on a second. Could this be berries? Oh, it is too. Look at this. New berries. A current. Did we already eat a current? I still have my challenges, right? 
Herbalist too. One of four berry species eaten. I guess I already ate a currant. What the hell? Go find like some raspberries or something. You'd think like the town strawberry would have had a lot of strawberry plants like around it, but it doesn't at all. I, I, I've been there so many times I haven't seen a single strawberry. It's kind of crazy actually. Coyote. Two star. Horse bonding is increased. Nice. One star. Who's the other one? Aha. Whoa, easy. Hell yeah. Here we go, boys. Back to hunting. Easy, boy. I can get the rest of the fish now? Yeah, I know. I can get the rest of the animals now, too. I can finish up the whole Sheboygan. I intend to, as well. Fucking, my favorite part of the game Good so boy. far has been the hunting challenges. They're so fun. Alright, let's go see about this... Let's go see about this loan, because I think if we do this... Help me! And I should help me! Oh my god, look who it is! Eight years on, he's still out here. Help a blind man. Of course I will. Have this. Take one of my 21 bucks. I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Really? Find the black flower and you will be rewarded. Maybe he means All Tahiti. Right, mister. Maybe he's talking about Tahiti. <laughs> Alright boys. It's a big moment for us. Look at this. We're in Blackwater! I had a plan! I had a plan. Oh, it's huge. Look at the size of this place. This is more like it. It's a huge place, but it's not like, it's not Saint Denis huge, right? Which is pretty good. No? Maybe? You guys know what I'm, know what I'm saying? Probably do like some really fucking awesome home invasions here too. Have a good night. Has nobody had the decency to tell you how strange you look right now? You motherfucking son of a bitch. You wanna say that to my face, asshole? Excuse me, partner. Hello. And hello again to you. My god. No wonder the country's gone to yeah, shit. Bad. Bitch. There's no need to be so undignified. <laughs> well, fucking stick that in your pipe. What's the meaning Smoke of this? It, you asshole. God, so our introduction to Blackwater is some jumped up foppish dandy standing outside on his porch at night. Oh shit, look, there's a wanted poster in here. You know what? Nobody gives a damn if I'm alive or dead. Oh my god, this game never stops. You there. Help, help me out with anything. Sure. Anything. Here's 25 cents for your trouble. Spend it wisely, okay? Don't use this for liquor, all right? You gotta take it. You gotta eat That's some Kentucky. Oh, it's some ginseng. Thanks, elixir. partner. I'm all alone. Me Mr. too. My wife left me. She took my lance a lot too. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. So there's a wanted poster there that we can go get. Let's go to the bank first, though. Oh, look at there is like, look at this. It looks like fucking Disneyland in here. It's crazy. All right, here's the bank. Let's go in. Looks like it's open. The land owning classes. Where's my Sipspis hat? I don't know where it is. I need to find it still. God, it's almost Christmas. Can you believe it? Fuck, it's crazy. So we fell asleep outside the bank. But now it's morning time. We're ready to go. Can we play as John without a shirt on? We need like a home base where we can customize our look and stuff, right? 
Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? That's the dump. I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills. That's huh? the one. <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Nice. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. I'm a good hunter. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Fuck Geddes. Me, we're going to buy a fucking oh, ranch! I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems oh, recently, they'll need clearing yeah. on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up we're the paperwork. We're buying a fucking ranch, boys. This is crazy. Oh, fuck. I hope you get to, like, pimp it up and stuff. We might be playing this game for a lot longer, boys. We'll have to see. All right. The weather outside is terrible, it turns out. But it's... F oh, it's close. Look at how close it is to fucking Blackwater, too. There are squatters at Beecher's Hope that may need to be moved on. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. This is this time, time to shine bright like a diamond. I hope we get to, like, place trophies and stuff. And, like, I hope we get, get Pembroke to move in with us. Become our cook and shit like that, you know. Don't spoil it, Chad. I want to see for myself. I'm not reading the chat, alright? I know you guys have played this game to death and stuff. But not me. Well, I have, but... I've never been to this part. Alright, let's go... Let's go clear out some... Part of these squatters. Alright? You can taxidermy everything? Oh my god. Don't. Don't. Okay. When this comes out for PC, do you think somebody will mod in all that stuff? A new town that you get to build up yourself and collect taxes and with a trophy room and shit like that. Fuck. We live in hope. We do live in hope. We live in hope. What is this guy? Oh, he's, he's a crappy. He's a crappy buck. It's just a crappy buck. All right. Oh my God! Look at this ranch. Wait, is this the ranch? Is this the the same ranch from Red Dead 1? It can't be, right? Oh my god, this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Shit. Holy fuck, we didn't even need to dead eye that guy. My dead eye is too low apparently, but it's fine. Alright, this is gonna be our first trophy for our Don't ranch. Worry, boy. It is in a, in a, in a complete state of disrepair. We're gonna have to do some serious work around here, I think. Did you like that? Fucking, what a shot, right? Incredible shot. Alright. Let's fucking smoke a cigar. To celebrate that. Whoa, the size of this bad boy. One puff and it's gone. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, we're, we're gonna have to do up this whole thing. I can see it all happening. Can I help you, friend? Uh, yeah, you're looking at the uh, owner of this place now, um, son of a bitch. So yeah, you can help me by clearing the fuck off, bitch. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> 
Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang <laughs> city boy says he owns this land. Uh oh. Well, he's gonna owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? Because you're a I bunch of sure. degenerates. That's why. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna intimidate them. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision, then, partner. Who else wants some? You? You're a dead man. No, you are. I can, by the way. I'll be I'll be wearing that in a sec. You ain't gonna. I hate aiming with the control. <laughs> Abigail will be so proud. <laughs> oh my god. I lost my hat in that, in that fight. We couldn't loot them up either, unfortunately. Oh, Rockstar, please! Don't make it like eight years later and it's all done up. Let me do the work! Come on! Come on, I want to do all the work! I want to fix up every fucking floorboard! The whole thing! Please! Please, Christ, let me do it. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure... About oh, buying this yes, place, I am, it's sure. really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. All right. Mister, I can't write. Mm-hmm. Can't read either. Very fancy. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it they works. own me. They just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful Please! Thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. Oh my god, home improvements. Please let it be. Well, it is you. Sorry. Well, I never. Get. I thought you was dead, Get out of boy. Here. Dead. Uncle. No, very Get same. the fuck away from Come me. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No. Uncle, get out of really? here. I got a home to maintain. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come no, too. No, no, no. No, you don't have to. No, no, you don't. I'm real sick, well. John. Lumbago. Oh, shit, he's got the lumbago. Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? This guy. Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Abigail's gonna fucking shit kittens when she sees this guy. She's gonna... You gonna mount up or what? Follow fucking me. wanna mount up. I want to go to Bob Bob's Hope right now. Look at look at all the improvements that they're making down. Look at all of this progress. This is this is America, boys. This is how it all started out in the West.
Just shut up back there already. How I see. Now where west are we headed, you damn grunt and fool? Would you shut up, Uncle? You're lucky you're you're lucky I'm even letting you come with them. I'm trying trying to go straight here. I'm starting a new life. Starting a new home improvement business. You know, you don't have to come. Hey, go fucking eat out of a toilet like you were doing before I just saw you five minutes ago. Let's go back to that, you son of a bitch. Hi, Dad. How are you? How are you, Officer Cup? Hey, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Alright, we're gonna take my favorite. Look at all these fences need mending. Look at all these fields need plowing. Oh, shit. Look, all of these dead bodies need removing. The house is small. It's gonna need. We're gonna need to add some more stuff to it. Maybe just knock down the shack and build a new house. Oh my god! Uh, this is gonna be great. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. This is where it all starts. Exactly. Did you buy this dump for Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the oh, tail. Enough of God. that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock For farmer. Sake, I wish this guy <laughs> so, would fuck off already. You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. I'm gonna firebomb him. Look, he's just fucking laying down in my house. No! No! Don't do this to me! I want to do all of this! Oh, come on! Look, I could have done all this! I could have moved the rocks and- Oh, no! It's gonna be like two years later now. Part two, okay. Part two, Beecher's Hope. Okay. You know what? This might be all right. It's still looking pretty- No! Why? They fixed all the fence without me! Come on, Rockstar. How could you? I played this whole game. Diligently, like a real American. All I wanted to do was all the- I wanted to see the fence progress off the back of my own hard work. Oh, ball sacks. Oh, that is really disappointing, actually. But you know what? Maybe there's still time to, like, fix up the house and shit. Beecher's hope. Okay, looks like Uncle's moved in. How long did it take us to remove all the rocks? Oh, look. So we removed all the rocks, but we didn't remove this carcass? What the fuck? It's just like, it's been there for like, I don't know. How long would it have taken to do up these fences? Quite some time, I, I'd imagine, right? A couple of months at least? It's huge. Look at the fucking size of this place. Look at the, look at all of our land. Oh, this is nuts. This is fucking nuts, isn't it? Just tear it all down and start over? Ah, oh, fuck, I wish. God damn, I would play the fucking shit out of this if it was like a Stardew Valley. Oh, man, why? Please, I wish they would just make it like Stardew Valley more so, you know? Like, instead of having, like, the dumb camp, you know? Like, start you off here with this crappy house, and you go out, and you have to earn money, and you have to do up the house, and eventually you have, like, your own emerald ranch with, like, hired hands and shit like that. Fuck me, that would be awesome. I would fucking love that. Working hard? <coughs> It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. No, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with Why the, the hell did we keep this guy around anyway? Get out! <laughs> Take that lumbago. I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles, 
Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. I'm not fucking going there. Charles Smith alive? I really? gotta do shit here. I reckon. Look at this yes, place. I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Oh, God. Fucking... Oh. Oh, this game is breaking my heart right now. Fucking Saint Denis. I'm done with Saint Denis. I never want to go back again. I've got bigger fish to fry. I just want to catch my legendary bucks and stuff, you know? Fucking do up my house. Do some farming and stuff. I don't want to do all this shit. I certainly don't want to be back here. here. Come on, let's get off. Alright. This place is a nightmare. Uh, back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. <laughs> Saint, Saint Dennis the Menace. Alright. <laughs> Sure. Let's split up. Has Saint Good Denis idea. changed much? I'll take the saloons. You take the slow. Uh, now, how about I take the saloons and you take the slows? Ask about Charles at the saloon Come or on, the fence. Let's fucking get in out of here. Let's go, boy. What is your problem? I'm part of the show, man. Me and the horse, we do this. This is our thing. all this progress. I just want to live on my Wild West ranch. Alone. I don't even care if Abigail and Lancelot come back. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Fuck them. They don't understand what it means to be a man. Nature. Primitive technology. That's what I'm talking about. Do it all by hand. We're not even ever going to come to town to buy tools. We're going to make them all ourselves. Whoa. Dang near killed me. What the hell has got in me? All right. We have got to change our attire as well. This just will not do. So let's ask about Charles at the fence. Maybe they got... You know what? I bet you he's fucking held captive underneath. Remember? There's like a secret over here. Maybe he's been enslaved. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Uh, Le Listen, Charles? You seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Is Charles Indian. actually Indian? Yeah. A boxer. Nope. Sorry, mister. No, actually, yes, he, I think he's fighting, I believe. No way. Fighting out behind St. Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks what a, a turnaround. No problem. Fucking one minute he's not, you've never seen him before in your life, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, yeah, he's, he's out fighting. He's out fighting by St. Saturnine, which is apparently over in the slums. He's a slum fighter now. Charles has become a slum fighter. Can you believe this? Fucking son Charles? No, that's not Charles. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, you found him, did you? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman oh, I met. Charles. He told me Charles was I here. I thought you joined the tribe. I guess the tribes not don't really exist much here. All right, let's see Charles. You are a killer. We both know what you got to do. I'm leaving Charles? Now. Oh my god, Charles, what's happened to you? You don't like know what's happened. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Holy uncle? Crap. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe don't look he was very in some sort of trouble. Kind of, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So, so, come on, Charles. Let me go place a bet. No, no, come and help me come fix on. up my farm, Charles. Man, we're reuniting the were whole dead. gang. Sure. Abigail's still alive too. Only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On 
Myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Mister, I only got $18, but you know what? I'm gonna bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors right, and a not-so-noble You savage. gonna win it or what? On my left. A ferocious battle. Can have a better from the view. Valleys, Simon of Wales, and on my right, an Indian Hercules. Hercules, the savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say, unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win this by is very death. dramatic. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Mr. Clean. Focus on Charles by holding L2 to cheer on our booth. You know what to do, oh, pretend, he's <laughs> pretend he's Micah. Pretend he's Micah. Come on, Charles. Come on, Charles. Whip his ass. My god, Charles is absolutely going to town on this new guy. Holy shit. Well done, Charles. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. Oh, so it goes. Here's your share, partner. Nice. Fucking rich we Charles. Just made the bed. I said we so you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. Oh. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, steamer boys. In his luggage. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. Urns? <laughs> You're useless. I. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Oh Come my on. god. All right. Let's get out of here, Charles. 40 bucks. This we got to get out of here with this money. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. Man, I miss Arthur. You, you know that Arthur Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. What? A pretty hillside, facing the... Dead in the ground? I don't he think he wanted to be there at all. With some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm... Bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Oh, I see. Hear that Laramie gang's got oh. hold of most of the west. He wasn't a good man. None of us were. But uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. The Arthur Morgan code. <laughs> that pig headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you you gotta cling to something. He was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. And poor and Arthur. All any of us have. Hmm. <sighs> Where's your bag? Oh yeah, anyway, Dockside. I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. God, we're walking I heard really all fast. Kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since well that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Fucking Mike. Run him on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. What was that? Hang on. They picked up uh, there was something here. The agents. I walked by we something. Get out of here. Come on. I thought it was a baseball card. So, Still gotta anyway, collect, boys. Looking to sell your they picked up Strauss. The agents. 
Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Even after we kicked him out of the camp? That happened. All those deaths. Micah? Okay. Oh yeah, Miss Downs. Uh, I wonder if we'll see hold her. Hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Hey, fellas. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh, no. Dead or alive already in okay. Saint Denis? That was quick. Hold up a sec, Charles. I'm coming. What an escape. Okay. Where was Uncle Is that your luggage, us? Charles? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. <laughs> Charles! How could you? Damn. You see any law? Oh my right god. Yeah. Keep your eye out. Yeah, yeah, look at our horses. Mane is just like. Oh, remember that. Oh, look, it's like well. flying. Look how fast we're going. Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take hey, Charles us is a good driver. Let me get out of the interview room. I don't want to get the Very shit smooth out of ride. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I... Um... I don't want to go... If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate... Count some of these if I back. ever want to go back, remind me... Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple. F give me some simple folk. And what? I don't give think this is making much of a difference anymore. And wide open. Jesus. Speaking of simple. John Charles. <laughs> oh, it is. Look. You boys have been all getting My up and no is good. Increasing. Kind of. Been getting shot at. Remember that time we had a look around in that that building? We got up onto the roof and everything, we didn't find shit. Not a shit. No. Take care of the ranch later, what? No way, I'm desperate to take care of this ranch. Fucking, I'm looking forward, if, if you can't even do it, I'm still like, not sure if the game is just gonna totally screw us over and not let us do any of the, the cool work around the ranch. All right, we're still in good shape here. There's still a lot to be done. There's still a lot that that can be done. So we got a hitchin post, and we got like a look. We got like a temporary sort of like campfire and stuff here. So so it looks like Charles is back in the saddle. Bare knuckle friendships. Uncle tells John that he has heard that Charles Smith is alive and in Saint Denis. John and Uncle go to St. Denis to track him down. What's next? So Uncle actually has a quest for us, and it looks like Sadie Adler, like she said, is in Blackwater pretty much at all times. So we can go see her too. Is there a, is there a trapper? Oh yeah, there is. Look, there's a trapper just up here. Nice. So we have to find, uh, I guess we got to find Pembroke as well and bring him back here too, right? So that we can, um, he can make us some soup and stuff, and then we can also, that's probably where we're going to do the improvements ah, and stuff, feels right? feels like old times. <laughs> I 
Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy, is this sour. Home improvement for beginners. No wonder she didn't oh, stay with please. you. Please. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get whine, all angry. Whine. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than Fuck this Fuck you, dream. uncle. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. <laughs> I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Yeah, you're right. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. Yeah. No we woman gotta level will touch up. this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean. Pulling down. the whole goddamn thing down. We good? I think so. Why didn't right. we do this with Dutch? Well, Why didn't we make a cool house? Going. Now just pull. You got this job? Yeah. I'll go when you do. Okay. Pull. On me. Pull the reins. <laughs> Come on, Charles. Pull. Pull the rain. Pull harder. Oh, don't get sentimental. Level it. We're trying here. That's more, it. Little more. That's it. Okay, I figured it out. Get her down. I'm trying to get her down. This you just way. gotta like. Oh yeah, here we go. It's oh, coming down. Easy. It's coming. We got it, Charles. Got Finally. It. Abigail's crying somewhere right now. See? Oh, Charles. I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. Just no. like our marriage. Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. God damn it, Uncle. Charles, the house make him built, work. We're going to whip him if you build have Build a dungeon to. and fucking kill your ass down there. Jeez. All right. Where do we go now? Mission complete. That was the mission. John, Uncle, and Charles tear down the derelict shack at Beecher's Hope. That was awesome. That was so good. Okay, where's the story he was talking about? He said it was over here somewhere. By the train store. Where's the train store? It was just this general store. Oh, fuck. There's a tailor. There's a butcher. There's a bounty poster. And there's Sadie Adler as well. What store did he say? It was in Blackwater, right? We got a $20 bounty in Lemoyne now. That ain't too bad. 20 bucks. We can't afford to pay it off just just yet, but we're not really down there right now, are we? Okay, boy. All right. Hang on a sec, though. Oh, actually, you know what? You guys get back to work. I'm going to go into town. I'm doing a town run. See if these fences ho can withstand some furious jumping. Yeah, they're good fences. We built some real sturdy fences there. It's not. Oh, fuck, I love it. Oh, what's that? Whoa! What's all this? Wildlife here. What is that? Like a pheasant or something? I gotta buy some. Um, I gotta buy some varmint r rifle um, ammo too, don't I? Rare shotgun, the bow, carbine repeater. California quail. Easy now. It's a poor one. 
Yeah, we definitely need some varmint rifle ammo, right? If we're gonna go hunt these other beasts. Actually, we don't need varmint rifle to hunt those other beasts, do we? Oh, look at this. This is so much better. I fucking love this area. It's so nice, isn't it? I kinda like the dry hills and stuff, you know? It's nice. <laughs> 